today I'm going to show you how to change out the spring um, if it breaks. So uh, the other day I was drilling and I pulled down and I heard a click. And uh, so yeah, this is where I'm at now. So that's kind of a real pain. Um, this works a lot better if the spring return actually works. So <clears throat> I hopped on the manufacturer's website and I purchased a new spring. So um, it's my understanding that all these Bridgeport clones are basically the same. So if, I mean, this should be pretty similar for yours as it is mine. Yeah, good advertising right on top. I also got a new uh, knob. I made this knob because when I bought the machine, it didn't have a knob here for the power down feed. So I was already on the website and I already had to pay the shipping. So I figured I would pick this guy up. It works better than uh, the one that I have. So I'll put that on too. Probably not in the video because it's... Pretty self-explanatory. What I am going to cover is this guy. So, you can pay a bunch of extra money um, to buy this spring already inside the housing. But on the website, I noticed that it looked like in the picture they had a steel band around it. So, the nice thing is it comes with a band, so I can put this in pull the band off and it will expand and I won't have to pay the extra $30 or however much for the whole entire assembly. So if you don't want to risk installing this inside this piece here, then you're going to want to buy it as an assembly. I did not. First thing you're going to do, um, lock the, uh, I think this is the quill or the spindle and remove this guy. Pull your handle off, and then you got two screws here. Make sure you don't lose the key. You might as well just pull this little key out and set it here for safekeeping, because as this thing rotates, you could lose it. So now I'm going to take these two Allen screws. I'm going to pull this guy out. This guy right here is actually uh, the spring housing. So once I put the spring into this, I can twist it and build up the tension, and then put these screws in and that's how you would set how much actual tension it has. So let me go grab some Allen wrenches. I'll be right back. All right. So now we're going to remove the spring housing, which is just now when we put it back in, it may be under some torsion load. In that case, I'm probably going to lower the table, let this thing come all the way down, install it. So it has less torsion load. Um, that's probably gonna make it easier to work on. I'm assuming. All right, so right here, you can see there is a little nub in there that grabs onto a loop inside. So there's a loop in there. It's really hard to see. See the little hole inside the center? And that actually grabs onto a little uh, protrusion and uh, so yeah now I have to get the spring out of this guy which I'm gonna put some safety glasses on because when I pull this out it's probably gonna want to go flying um, I might be able to grab I don't know that's super super sketchy and that's probably why they sell this whole thing as one assembly uh, because it's uber sketchy to pull this spring out um, there's a chance I could cut myself, lose an eye, do this with great caution. As much as I don't want to film this part because I'm afraid I'm going to get hurt or look like an idiot, um, I feel like this is probably the most valuable part of this whole entire thing. This seems to be the scariest part and uh, the, the one part that guys may look at and be like, there's no way I'm doing this. I'm going to buy the whole assembly. So I'm going to uh, risk it. For YouTube, put it in the vise, just clamp lightly, 
Nothing crazy. I'm going to go get some eye protection. And I'm going to tap from the inside and just try to push it out. And I'm guessing it could just go... Yeah, a little bit worried about that. So let me go grab some safety gear. Okay. So we're all safety geared up to where I can't really use my fingers, which is kind of dumb. But hey, whatever. All right, so... Almost out. I'm kind of protected right here. I don't even want to look. Okay, that's out. Now I gotta. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to be a little, but uh. The tension literally was building forever. Uh, I was really a little bit worried. Um, but it's out. And here's the spring. It does go flying, but I don't know that it's dangerous. So now I've got this spring. And I need, oh, look at that. It just drops right in. So that's so what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that like that. And I'm going to get a socket. And I'm just going to push it in. Okay, so at this point, it's almost 75% engaged in the slot. Um, so there shouldn't be any reason why I can't just tap it in. I'm going to make sure I'm getting the actual outside. Oh. Oh my word, I'm way jumpy. Just tap that in. All right, there we have it. I hope I put that in the correct direction because if I didn't, yeah, I did. So this goes through and that the eyelet in there, it hooks on the it's not the draw bar the quill i don't know you guys will correct me you know all the right verbiage on these machines um to me i don't really care <laughs> about using all the right terms so i finally got it hooked um on that little piece the key is um that the little cutout in the spring has to be the right depth so you have to kind of pull it out, push it in, you know, until you can finally get it the right depth. Because uh, when you finally get it, like, lined up, it'll start to kind of catch. And then you take a flathead screwdriver and you, like, push it the rest of the way on. 
So now I'm all the way down. And when I lift up, it's going to turn this the wrong direction and it's going to undo it. So I don't want that to happen. So when I lift up, I'm going to take a screwdriver and I'm going to twist this to make sure that um, it doesn't. Now you can also use a key, a chuck key. No, I can't. It's too small. I'm going to use a screwdriver and I'm going to rotate this when I lift up. That way I don't undo the 30 minutes of dinking around in there with a screwdriver. It, it, it does take a little bit, but you know what? That's going to be the same even if you buy the whole assembly or just a spring. That doesn't change anything. So the only sketchy part about not buying the assembly is getting the old spring out. So I'm going to rotate this. Oh, shoot. I want to make sure I keep tension on it. I'm going to lock this. I don't know how much tension I need. I'm going to start with like almost none. Maybe like... I really need like some type of spanner wrench, but I don't have one. Okay, so originally it was hooked here. I went one past. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't have enough, you know, spring back, then I'll do another one. I don't want to over tighten the spring, otherwise it'll break just like the last one. Good news, it didn't just fall down. It, although it doesn't go back up by itself either. Oh, kind of does. That's good. I don't want a ton because when I uh, thread stuff and I put it in reverse, I don't want a ton of force. I mean, it doesn't fly up, but that could just be a bunch of old grease. Um, when it warms up, it could be better. So now um, this key does not go all the way to the end. So you got to stick your key in there. Put your hub back on. Well, I guess at least it doesn't fall down. I mean, you got to be the judge. It might need like one more rotation. Um, see, when you fully uncoil it, yeah, anyways, I'll play with that. Um, basically, you loosen the two screws, twist it, put them back in. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I guess I could quick change this other thing. If you guys like this video, if you have any, uh, and you want to see more like it, I do all kinds of fab work here in my shop, and you're welcome to join along um, by subscribing to the channel. And uh, if you want to see, like, I post a ton on Instagram and Facebook, so uh, you can always follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, that helps as well. If you want a 2x72 belt grinder, a DIY disc sander, or anything else like that, head on over to BexArmory.com. That's my website. That's my company. And uh, I fabricate... For fun, I design automation for a living. So, thanks for joining.